We're talking to Kevin Michael Richardson, one of the voices on The Cleveland Show, which is back for a fourth season. What's it like coming back knowing you still have a job? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's a good feeling knowing that we still have a job, man. For fourth season, uh, that's good. It's all set and ready. We're just still going in production to uh, brush up on ADR. So uh, we're happy. We are very happy. And uh, I just can't wait to see how it comes out. Yeah. What's installed this year for Cleveland Jr.? You know, what are we going to see? Is the character, has the character grown in four years? Yeah, you know, it's weird. It's like <laughs> Junior's grown. But sometimes you think he's gone backwards in his mind. Sometimes, you know. But uh, uh, yes, he has. He's still he's still very intelligent, but you still can't tell if he's a virgin or not. Uh, actually, yeah, he is. Um, no, he's grown. Junior has definitely grown. Um, you're gonna see some interesting plots this this uh, season. Um, there's a turkey. There's a Thanksgiving episode, and uh, Cleveland Senior wants him to be, uh, kill a turkey. And Junior doesn't believe in murder, so he doesn't want to kill no turkey. So he gets kidnapped to do it. Um, uh, there's gonna be a few other episodes that we got. You know, of course, Nicki Minaj, Bruno Mars. You know, Will I Am coming back. Brian Cranston's gonna be a uh, you know recurring on the show. So uh, it is so much stuff that I can't even remember to say the truth. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. You mentioned your names, Nicki Minaj, Brian Cranston. Normally, you wouldn't see these actors and singers appear at other shows because they don't have time to you know to act and so forth. But they have time to do voices. Right. You know, as a veteran who's done several voices, do any of these people talk to you as far as how to you know do their voice for animated series? Do they need to like ask how to do? Yeah, for advice or like what should I do? You know, what? You know because usually when they get cast, you know, I guess uh, they really get cast because of who they are, what they sound like, so they want them to play. <laughs> You know themselves. Uh -huh. you know, I guess there are some occasions where uh, sometimes they might try to exaggerate their roles a little bit, like Rosie Perez. But even if Rosie Perez goes high or low in their voice, you know it's Rosie Perez. Uh -huh. You know, but um, none of them have really uh, sat down and asked. Um, I haven't. I don't recall anyone really saying. Maybe I've seen them say. Uh, say they felt a little nervous, you know, at a table read and stuff like that, but none of them were really asked, like, how do you do this and stuff like that. They were just very excited that they were going to be cartoons, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Now, this is your fourth year at Comic-Con. If you had to come out and dress up as a fan, who would you come out as? As a fan? As a fan. If you were coming to Comic-Con as a fan, you know, you had to wear a costume just to be in a thick, just to be in the thick of it. As a fan or a superhero? Oh, fan, superhero, you know, who would you want to be dressed up as? Oh, man, that's a tough one, man. I'd probably go as the Invisible Man and just wear a pair of sneakers and walk around naked. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, 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 no. Man, that's a tough one, man. I mean, uh, Shaft was always one of my favorites. Uh, uh, Green Lantern was another favorite. Uh, if I could be Job of the Hutt, maybe. But, oh, now that you mention it, ooh, the Joker. Uh -huh. The Joker that I portrayed with the dreadlocks. Now, I hear you're, you're, you're the new voice of Shredder, you know, yes. on Turtle. What's that feeling like? You're, you're, you're taking another iconic character that people are familiar with. You know, what are you going to add to the character? Well, the Shredder, man, I got to tell you, uh, he's just coming from the real low base me, again, another character, but uh, this, he is really pissed off because he is just hell-bent on uh, the destruction and death of the Turtles and Splinter. So, uh, when they asked me to read for it, it just came from this, it's not like, it wasn't a yelly, automatically yelly, you know, Rah, rah, rah type of character, you know, I sort of like, he sort of eases, he has this ease of it into what he has to say and lets it build. And it's very powerful, probably one of the most powerful bad guys I've, I've ever played. At the end of the day, it's the fourth season. What's, still, what's a good reason to keep watching The Cleveland Show? Oh, because you want to laugh, man. <laughs> Yeah. The best reason is just because you want to laugh, especially with the family and stuff like that. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, we're good. Thanks. Right on, man.